Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagasong. This is Navigation Drawer 2017. In this video, I will talk about how to call a fragment from Navigation Drawer in Android. Okay, let's go to Android. Okay, so let's start a new project here. Just call Nav2 uh, because I have another Navigation Drawer. And here just use the Android 4.0 is good because you have a lot of people use that. And now you can use navigation drawer from the template here. Okay. And just keep the same name, main activity. Okay, this is your project, so let's run it first. Okay, here now you can see the navigation drawer already. And you want to click on this uh, menu and you want to open the fragment. Okay. So the first thing that you have to know is that the place that you want to put the fragment on. So the code here, the main code is in the content main here. So now you have constraint layout. And the problem with the constraint layout is that you cannot put a fragment in here in the framework constraint layout. So first you have to change it to another layout like relative but for me I don't change it because the constraint layout is a very modern layout and usually I will put another layout inside the constraint layout okay so choose maybe you can choose uh, relative okay and make sure you tick on the magnet here and you just drag it like this okay and if you want to change the size you are free to do that maybe just 200 uh, 50 dp so this is your um, layout here and you want to change the padding you can because you have to put the constraint so maybe just remove the constraint and then uh, choose uh, click on the, the stars here so now you can see the constraint and the left is zero and the right is zero so it's a by constraint topic okay i don't want to discuss more about that so first you have to put a 90 for that so i will call main layout okay so this is the most important part and then you will need to change some in the activity main drawer which is the menu and you are free to change that but be careful to change the id because you will change the code in the main activity okay so for now i will change the first one i will change to home because i want uh, my home you know and the icon i think i can just remove it so now the title is home so another thing that you have to change is in the main activity uh, it is in this um, method on navigation item selected first one is now become nav home okay so this is the place that you uh, write the code okay there are other stuff here but we will talk only the fragment how to open it and we will talk about the fragment and how to open it so first create a fragment so just go to fragment here or maybe you could go from here as well right click a new and fragment now i will call home fragment we don't need the factory for the fragment and we don't need any callback so just uncheck this too okay and keep the first one okay here is your code of the fragment and you can see in the folder of the layout you can see fragment home here so this is the place that you can change the layout on fragment or so here just a hello blank and i can change to constraint layout because now i use the android uh, 2.3 and it support the constraint layout here so just delete the hello world here and maybe you can have another nice widget just for our purpose maybe just a simple code that picture is fine okay and make sure you go to the text and you see the constraint now you don't see that and you see the 
red um, you know red line here just click on this and uh, click on remove and then click on the star here now it has a constraint okay and you go back now the red line is removed it means that you have a proper constraint okay so just save it and now it's time to um, write a code so you go to main activity and first call the fragment home fragment that we just created and home fragment new home fragment now use the fragment manager manager and get support fragment manager here you want to support the older version of uh, fragment of uh, you know of android so you should use support but uh, if you want to use this method you have to make sure that your fragment uh, have a proper import here if you don't see support v4 you just add support v4 then now you can use the get support fragment manager okay so then manager begin transaction and then replace and where you want to replace here right the first part here okay so all dot id uh, main layout and you replace the layout with the fragment and then you can put the fragment dot get tag because later on then you can uh, retrieve the data back by the tag but if you don't want to use the tag it's okay just remove it if you want to it still works okay so just don't use that okay so click on the home here see that have a nice um that picker here and but you don't see the button because the Side is smaller, but you can put the scroll bar inside that. But it would be a long uh, video. So uh, at last, um, maybe you want to open it with the home fragment. So it's very easy. Just copy this code and then you put it in the on create um, method. So very button here. Just pass this code. Okay, now you can see the fragment in the home screen. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel. Give a thumb up to this video. And if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thank you. And I will see you in the next video.